Look at the difference in size and growth. Planted at the exact same time, same soil, same type of plant. That blows my mind. Hey everybody, welcome back to Garden Fever. Wanted to do a real quick video on this. It's just kind of a, a more of an inquiry. Um, I, <clears throat> I have some starts here and here in Utah, I, I've said in previous videos that uh, we've had a struggle this spring. We've had a late frost and some cold weather that has lingered on deep into our summer. So I haven't been able to get all my starts in, but I got some squash seeds growing here. And, I, and there's a specific reason why I want to show you guys this because some of these seeds have a story behind them where some are just generic organic seeds found in your local nursery, if you will, okay? And I want to zoom in on this because there's something that I noticed that is really quite amazing. Now these guys right here, this one, this one, and this one are the same species as this plant, this plant, this one drooping over here, this stringy, leggy one over here, and this one over here. But these ones are twice, well, I wouldn't say twice the size. Oh, I kind of was zoomed in on that so you guys didn't see it very well, but right here, these leggy ones right here, they're all kind of, the, they're all the same species of squash. But these big ones right here in the three, these three, they're huge. They're double the size. Is the other one they're standing straight up and they were growing in the exact same soil had the exact same amount of water so why are these three so healthy looking and so much bigger and more vibrant than the other ones what is it about these three that's different well let me tell you a little story I ran into a guy at work whose father has been farming in this area since the early 1900s and he let me go through all of his seeds his father recently passed away and he's a fellow gardener we were talking about gardening and we were going through his father's seeds and he had seed packets since before I mean I'm talking 1920 1930s um, some of them may even been younger than that <clears throat> and he uh, this is before genetic modification. This is before all kinds of things that have gone on in recent years when it comes to plants. And I I didn't think much of it, to be honest with you, because I was buying organic seeds. You know, I wasn't trying to be all, I'm trying to be a little bit more environmental, you know, if you know what I mean. But uh, these seeds, it wasn't long before I became very well aware of the difference, okay? These seeds are noticeably different on their growth they are so much more healthier so much more vibrant I am completely blown away by how much better looking these squash plants look so I'm gonna keep you guys posted in the future but that kind of gave me an idea for garden fever I think I'm gonna go on a seed hunt I think I'm gonna travel around my area and try and find people that have seed collections for from back in the day because I'm, I'm noticing that there's a difference there's a difference in the seeds and I'm curious about that so I'm gonna pick the brains of our older community and our older gardeners and see if I can't find some gems out there um, I think it's a great idea let me know what you guys think I uh, comment leave a comment let me know what you think if you guys have had any seeds from the past that have shown similar signs like this uh, I was pretty blown away when I they, they have the same conditions, same growing conditions, and it's a noticeable difference. The, the stalks are thicker, they're greener, they're bigger, they're growing faster, they're staying straight up and not getting leggy. I mean, there's a big difference. And I think, oh, another thing too is the expiration dates that they put on seeds are bogus. Those are when they're at their optimal freshness, not when they're getting, when they're no longer valid. I actually thought these seeds would be sterile because they were so long ago. They're almost a hundred years ago, and hey, look at them. They're 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 better looking plants than the ones I bought last week. Anyway, I'm gonna let the video go for now, but I want your guys' opinions and I want your guys' comments on this. If you have any seeds out there that are old, I'm interested in them. Uh, that kind of sent me on a little treasure tr treasure hunt, if you will, like I'm a like a seed picker, if you will. I, I think I might 
go around and talk to some gardeners, some more gardeners, see if I can't talk to some old timers and see if they have any seeds they're willing to give me. Anyway, I'm going to let it go for now, but we'll talk to you later. This is Garden Fever.